I'll send the thing to you. It's called Poetry, Painting, and Passion. Excellent. I, I, I look forward to uh, reading it. Yeah. My last question to you is, what is your advice to people who want to get into radio? One word. Don't. <laughs> It's falling apart, Trey, and, and, and it's too bad. It, I, I looked, and, and um, there's just nothing there right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, now um, the good thing about it, you know, uh, several podcasts are opening up, you know, everyone, and everyone has a podcast now, you know, and I think that's yeah, and I think important. That's, that's, that's really good because it, it's... Uh, and it's on demand too, you know. So I, I like I do a podcast uh, every Sunday when, when it gets put up. What is your podcast about? Do you play music or interview people or? No, it, it's just about my life, you know, stuff that's happened in my life or stuff that I hope is going to happen in my life or, you know, whatever. It's at uh, Dick at DickSummer dot com is my is my email address. The podcast address is dicksummer.com slash podcast. Simple. Because I'm simple. (laughs) Me too. I try to stay simple. (laughs) There's nothing stupid about simple. Absolutely. Well, uh, Dick, uh, thank you for letting me uh, interview you. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Uh, You have a lot of great stories and... uh, I'll have to get you back on the show sometime to tell some more of them if you're interested. And uh, thank that you. That sounds like a plan, Trey, and you do a very good job. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I'm glad we were finally able to do the interview. I know we've been trying to do it for a while. <laughs> and, uh, I'm glad we are finally did it, you know. Me too. Okay, and I'll send you a link to this interview when it's, uh, let's see, today's Thursday. It will be uploaded, no, not Thursday, today's Tuesday, and uh, Monday. I'm. <laughs> it will be uploaded on Wednesday. It will be uploaded that day because I uh, upload interviews uh, one or two days after I record them. And uh, so it should be up by Wednesday, and I'll send you a link, and uh, you can share it. On, to your Facebook friends or on your website or wherever and um, and uh, let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Well, very good. I'm going to send you the poetry, painting, and passion. It's, uh, it's a recording, you know, man, because, see, I think that there is something special about the sound of a voice. Uh, it's one of the reasons, and it's one of the things that I really dislike right now about a lot of people on TV. They're, they're yelling at me, you know. Don't yell at me. Talk to me like a human <laughs> being. And another thing is, I guess it's top, I call it top 40 news. And it's what most of the news stations do now. They do everything in a huge hurry. And that's not how people talk. When you talk to somebody, there are pauses, there are changes in the way a voice sounds. And anyway, I, I you know, I, I'm sure you understand what I'm talking about. So I like very much when I write a piece. Uh, an awful lot of times, I like to do a recording of it because that gives it an, another another dimension. You know? Absolutely. Yeah, I write stories too, and I try to uh, turn them into audio recordings, audio books, and uh, it helps your thought process, you know, that way. Yeah, it does. Okay, I'll send the thing to you when we hang up. Uh, it's called Poetry, Passion. Poetry, Painting, and Passion. Okay? Okay, great. Thank you very much, Dick. You have a good day. Thank you, Trey. Take care. Bye. Bye bye. And that was radio host. Mr. Dick Summer, thank you very much for listening. Join us Thursday when I interview uh, Nathan Stephen Montrose, 
very nice guy, very humble, and he has a story to tell. He was a Holocaust survivor, and we're going to dwell deep and listen to his story, and uh, I hope we can all learn some information. At least I hope so. I know I will, and uh, I hope you all can too. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening, and as always, God bless you all.